What is up guys, me luck here, and today we are back in action doing an ARC update, and I'm joined by that German guy. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Yeah, so we're taking a look at the, the new 233 update, and they've added a new dinosaur and some new armor and some cool stuff. Yes. Yes. So uh, we have uh, Gallimimus here, uh, which is pretty cool. I thought they were supposed to be small. We actually, German kept mentioning that we he thought it was supposed to be like mistake. They actually meant a different creature because it was weird that these guys could have like a saddle that held three fifty or three three people, not three fifty. <laughs> uh, I don't know what three three fifty of something. Three fifty. Yeah, three fifty. Dude, they're uh, all staring at me, and it's really creepy. Yeah. Uh, but Actually, yeah. this is going to be a screenshot. Yeah, we um. spawned in uh, three Gallimimuses here. Oh, yeah, look at their little saddle, dude. They have, like, little... They're kind of, like, Campbell hump saddle things, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they're kind of, like, oh, shit handles. You know how cars have the oh, yeah, shit yeah, handles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, we have the riot armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess uh, you have something to actually match your riot shield now. But I'm going to stick yep. all of it on. We I have the helmet. Uh, German already has his on. So, yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, the first pictures made it look really crappy, but they uh, looking at it in person, it's actually really cool looking. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, it does look really cool. Um, yeah. So it's not that different from Flak. Uh, no. They've, yeah. yeah, they've moved Flak to where you make it in the smithy, which makes sense. Um, and then now the, priv uh, or the, the riot stuff is made in the fabricator. Yeah. And this is, you, you, you were the only one that's able to craft it, so it required, yeah. what does it require? It requires a, a ton, about 50 plus, uh, 50 to 70 polymer per piece, and about 25 to, I think, 35 silica pearls each piece. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of polymer and silica pearls. And then it's, you know, your typical amount of metal and uh, some fiber in there uh, as well for the cloth. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty expensive. The engrams are expensive, it's 40 a piece. Oh, wow. So you're going to need a ton of engram points. Um, for it, it's, it is up there in price and, uh, it, it does give you better yeah. armor than, it, than primitive. I don't have any primitive flack on me. I think media did and it's, it's a hundred versus one fifteen. Yeah. Durability is the same and it has either same to better hypothermic insulation. Well, yeah, yeah. It has the same hypothermic insulation. I think it has worse a hypothermic or yeah. Hyperthermic. Insulation. Yeah, but you want that to be you want that to be a lower number. I think. Yeah. Uh. Well, it has it doesn't have a lower number though. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't, don't know. know. Whatever. Anyways, it's about the same for those. Uh, just better armor. Um, yeah. which is pretty cool. So we also have the, the yeah these guys. So I guess we can all ride them. So you want to try to yep. get on this guy? So I'm on the middle. You're on the front. So the front can kind of shoot forward, and then if we had someone in yep. the back, they could shoot back. Yep. Uh, which is cool. Actually, we're like way too heavy for this guy. Uh, oh, are we? <laughs> I'm going to increase the weight a little bit. Yeah, let's increase the weight. Uh, what I want to do is these guys are supposed to be the fastest like rank, land creatures, right? Yes. Uh, so I'm going to increase the movement speed. I get, I've get i given given them some XP here so we can kind of see. So this is 260 movement speed. So this is walking. This is running. What's your quest doing over here? Uh, I have no idea, actually. Uh, maybe the server rolled back. Uh, so they can jump, which is cool. Yeah, pretty far, too. Yeah, also, this guy is pretty sweet looking, like this red one here. Yeah, the red's neat. Um, so if you do left, they do like a little headbutt, and then right-click doesn't seem to do anything, uh, and crouching doesn't seem to do anything. So, yeah, they have one one main thing, which is pretty cool. So I guess they're kind of like a, um, a Parasaurolophus, just like really fast, you know? Yeah, and they, they're pretty much just like a fast hit tactic creature, basically. Yeah. So for raiding... You've got, you know, a guy in the back that can defend anything coming up behind you, a guy in the front that can do an assault, and, you know, it's, they're, you know, they're not strong or anything, but it's, they're very quick, so if you want to do, like, quick hit tactics, I think that's probably... Oh, yeah, and you can actually board different seats, there. so I'm going to board, like, the back seat right here, Yeah. and then I can get out my crossbow, and then I can shoot stuff behind, yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he's, he, it's pretty fast. Yeah, uh, and well, also keep in mind we have uh, speed doubled. So uh, what our speed is right here is actually supposed to be half. Yeah. On the but still, the, I mean that's that's good. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, and then we had these other guys because I I just kind of was curious what the different color values were, like what they looked like. Yeah. So this one's a little lighter. This one's kind of tan. Um, I really like the red one. They look yeah, the red sweet. one's neat looking. I, I like the color combo on it. Yeah. They look really derpy. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, they're very derpy looking. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, and then I think that's about everything in the update, right? Uh, no, no. We've got oh, the oh, greenhouse, yeah. and then we've got this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah, we have the electric product. Oh, whoa. It only works once and it dies? Oh, it does. Whoa. So, I guess you have to... Yeah, it takes ang angular gel to repair it. Uh, oh, so you've got to just, I guess, keep angler gel on you? No, you're going to have to take it back to Fabricator after each time. Yeah, so it's a stunning weapon. I don't know what that means, really. Before uh, recharge is needed. Yes, yeah, huh, so I guess the angler gel is what recharges it. Uh, yeah. So that's cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> sure. It didn't really seem how to much do anything. To, uh, yeah, I was going to say, how much silver does it do? Uh, I, I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. Okay. Um, it didn't seem like it did a super lot, though. Hmm. Might just be better on dinosaurs. I should have shocked one of the galleys with it. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. Um, so, and then the last thing is we do have a greenhouse glass, uh, yep. which I guess you could probably use this for normal stuff, too. Uh, how expensive is the glass? The glass is going to be in a smithy, yes, and yes. it's going to be under structures, of course. It has its own category. Okay. And uh, it's actually fairly cheap to make. It's not very cheap to learn. The pieces are 30 a piece or 15 a piece. So, okay. again, to get the whole set, it's going to cost you um, over 100 engram points. Um, but you're looking at one metal ingot, three crystal, one cementing paste for the windows. Okay, that's, uh, that's cool. Door is 525. Slope pieces are 4154. The uh, wall is 7257. Uh, sloped roof is 103510. Door is 3104. And ceiling is 103510. Yes. So that's basically what we got going there. And let's see, I'm going to grab I'm, all these yeah, out. Yeah, I'm really curious to what they look like, what the texture is, because we have a glass metal mod right here, and this glass looks really cool. So hopefully it looks pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and these don't have a foundation. They have to be put on a foundation. Okay. Uh, yeah, they can be put on any foundation. Uh, do you want to, I guess, go upstairs? Uh, sure. Place it down. Uh, also, these guys uh, apparently help crops grow, so you yeah. can make like a From what I'm hearing, I haven't tried it out yet, but from what I'm hearing on Reddit, it halves the time okay. for crops to grow. Uh, and I wonder if that, like, you, like, fully enclose it or just, like... Uh, yeah, it has to be fully enclosed. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, it's a little foggy. So the gla uh, the, the glass walls here look pretty cool. Yeah, they're neat. Um, let's see. We'll put a door down. Looks like oh. these are like... Are these like double paned? No. Got that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like the little door. Look at it. Oh, I, yeah. I, thought, I thought the door handle was going to swivel when you, whenever I did that. Never mind. And then, I'm disappointed oh, now. How do the windows work? I don't remember seeing a window frame, but it just is just a floaty window. Okay, maybe you just put in a normal. Yeah, you put it in a like a, a normal thing, and it's a glass window that opens and closes. So okay, well, that's kind of um, neat. I mean, I feel like it would defeat the purpose. If well, no, it wouldn't. No, if you had like a window frame and then put the thing in there. Um, so yeah, there's the there's the slope piece, which is pretty cool. Yep. So yeah, it's all going to be kind of like the same texture. What do the ceilings look like? Got that. Making a whole little building here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that looks cool. I like the I like the slope greenhouse roof. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, and it looks like they have very little durability. So if you're playing on a <laughs> like a PVP, yeah, server, yeah, you're gonna want this in your building or yeah. on your roof or something because yeah. they they are not very strong. They can be easily broken. Yeah, hundred hundred HP. So yeah, but I guess I I guess I never made a regular ceiling. That's weird. I thought I did. Yeah, well, it's gonna pretty much look like the wall or the yeah, yeah, it's gonna look, exactly. So, but yeah, um, it's definitely a neat little thing. You can stick your little crop plots in here. Yeah, and really cool. have a little greenhouse on your roof. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that covers everything in the update, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the only other thing is there's the uh, deep water crate. So uh, just like in caves, there's a little floating uh, loot boxes. Those now spawn in certain places under the ocean. Nice. So uh, whenever you're randomly searching the ocean, you can get a bunch of cool loots. Exactly, yeah. And then uh, we did get uh, patch notes for the next two updates. The Terror Bird will be the next creature put in. Ooh, nice. And after him, the Beaver is coming out in the next update after that. And one of those two updates is going to have all three of the boss arenas put in. 
Oh, nice. As, as the other will have the swamp and snow caves. Okay. Nice. So, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, guys. We know how they are with um, pushing things. Like, they pushed the tribe alliances from the last two updates and pushed it to the next one again. So, uh, <laughs> you know, take it with a grain of salt there. Yeah. Well, if you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button. Also, check out both our channels, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. See you guys next time.